You're listening to the Culips English podcast. To download the study guide for this episode, which includes the transcript, detailed vocabulary explanations, real-world examples, and a quiz, visit our website culips.com. C U L I P S dot com. Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew. And I'm Jeremy, and you're listening to Culips. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Andrew. How are you? I'm doing well. It's been a while since we've done one of these. It has. It's been a while. How have you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. How about yourself? I've been keeping busy. Working a lot, running a lot, studying a lot—you know the usual. That's good. Very active. <laughs> Very active, and Jeremy, I've been paying a lot of attention to my responsibilities. I've been、oh. very focused in my work, which is important, right? To be focused and to pay attention. Of course, of course, very important. You wouldn't want to. Fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Perfect segue, Jeremy. <laughs>、uh, so, everyone, today we're going to do a catchword episode, and this is our series where we teach you very important English vocabulary that will help make your English sound more natural. And in this episode, we'll teach you two expressions that you can use. To describe people who are not like me, who don't pay attention <laughs> to the work that they need to do and the responsibilities that they have.、Mm. But Jeremy, just before we get to that, I would like to remind all of our listeners that we have a study guide for this episode, and it's an awesome way to study with us. Actually, it includes a transcript. Detailed vocabulary explanations, real-world examples, and a quiz. And if anyone is interested in studying with a study guide, just visit our website culips.com to give it a download. Today we are looking at two expressions that describe people who are not paying attention to their responsibilities.、Hmm. People who are not focused, right? Not focused. Yeah. So, what is our first expression for today? Our first expression for today is "asleep at the wheel" or "to be asleep at the wheel." Asleep at the wheel. And so when I hear this, I think about somebody driving a car or driving a truck and falling asleep while they're driving. They're sitting behind the steering wheel of the vehicle and they fall asleep.、Mm-hmm. Bad situation, right? Very, very dangerous. <laughs> very, very dangerous. So, in this situation, if somebody falls asleep while they're driving, then They're not paying attention. They're not focused on the most important responsibility that they have at that moment, which is operating the vehicle safely. Yeah. So, if you are asleep at the wheel, it simply means that you are not paying attention, right? Yeah. You're failing to fulfill the role, the job that you need to do at that moment. Well. I don't think people would use this if you're just not paying attention. For example, if I'm talking to you and you're not listening, I don't think we would use this expression. But if you are the team leader for a project or something, and you forget to come to a meeting, then maybe we could say. He's falling asleep at the wheel, or he is asleep at the wheel. 
That's a very good point. It's not just that you're not paying attention, right?、Mm-hmm. It's that you're not paying attention when you have a task to do, and、mm-hmm. because you became distracted and you didn't do your task, well, then this is falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah, I agree. Okay, Jeremy. I think we are ready to listen to a couple of examples using this expression. Okay, here we go. I just got a call from Dan from the downtown office. He was expecting you to send him the contract this morning. Oh no! I totally forgot to do that. You can't keep falling asleep at the wheel like this. One of these days, it'll cost you your job. All right. So in this example, an office worker gets in trouble because he forgot to send a contract to the downtown office, and this was his responsibility. But he was asleep at the wheel and forgot to do it. So this is a perfect example of when we can use this expression, because if you are asleep at the wheel, you're distracted. You're not paying attention. And as a result, you fail to do your job correctly. Okay, Jeremy, let's listen to one more example here. Okay.、Uh, housing prices are so high these days. I don't think I'll ever be able to buy a house. You can blame the government for that. They were asleep at the wheel during the economic crisis. Well, I sure hope the economy improves soon. Yeah, man. Me too. In this example, two friends complain about the economy. They blame the government for falling asleep at the wheel during an economic crisis. So, during the crisis, when the government should have been actively trying to improve the economy, they did nothing. And this is why the friends say that the government fell asleep at the wheel. Jeremy, I hear this expression used a lot to describe politicians. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of the ways that I do research for catchword is to type the expression into Twitter to see how native speakers are using the expression. Oh, that's a good idea. And one of the common, common, common tweets that I saw was. Washington is asleep at the wheel. <laughs> oh my god! Meaning, meaning that the politicians in Washington D.C. are asleep at the wheel. They're they're not doing their job correctly because they're distracted with other things, and, or yeah, sleeping, <laughs> or maybe literally sleeping too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, our second expression for today is almost exactly the same, almost exactly the same in meaning and in form. And our second expression for today is "asleep at the switch." Asleep at the switch. S W I T C H. Switch. And Jeremy, what comes to mind? What is the image that you have when you think of? This expression. So I actually haven't heard this expression before, but if I did hear it, I would immediately understand. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I've、yeah. heard "asleep at the wheel" more often. I think、yeah. it's more common, but I have heard "asleep at the switch," and I think it's because it is more of a British. English style expression. That sounds right to me. Now that you say it, I can imagine it, it being spoken with an English accent. <laughs> And since I'm Canadian, I think one of the unique things about Canadian English is we have a mix of American style English and British English. It's kind of、uh, the best of both worlds. So perhaps this is why I've heard it more. Than you, but okay. Asleep at the switch.、Hmm. I think of somebody falling asleep while they're trying to operate a piece of machinery, like maybe in a factory or something. 
you know, while you were saying that, I thought in London, for example,、mm-hmm. people usually take the subway, right? The streets right. are very, very narrow and there's lots of traffic. So I thought, oh, maybe asleep at the switch is the same expression, but the driver of a subway has a switch and not、mm. a wheel. Hey,、right? it, it could be that. Yeah, that's、maybe. a good theory. I like that. Either way, maybe it will help someone to remember it. So this expression actually has exactly the same meaning as asleep at the wheel. And that meaning is that. You have a job to do, you have a responsibility, but for some reason you become distracted or you're not paying attention. And as a result, you fail to do the job you are supposed to do.、Mm. I think that's about all of the explaining that we need to do. And let's move on to some examples using this expression asleep at the switch. All right, sure. Did you see the game last night? Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. It's like our goalie was asleep at the switch all night long. I know. He let in like 10 goals. That's crazy. In this example, two buddies are complaining about their favorite sports team. They played horribly last night because the goalie fell asleep at the switch. He was distracted all night long and he let in 10 goals. So remember that when you're asleep at the switch, you're distracted or busy doing something unimportant. And this causes you to make errors and be irresponsible and fail to do your job correctly. All right, our final example for today's episode, Jeremy, let's go and listen to it now. I was late to work this morning. Did your boss yell at you? No. Thankfully, he was asleep at the switch playing around with his phone and didn't even notice. Sounds like you caught a lucky break. Yeah, man. Whew. In this example, a guy tells his friend that even though he was late for work this morning, he didn't get in trouble. This is because his boss was asleep at the switch. And didn't notice him sneak in late. His boss was using his phone and because of this was too distracted to notice his late arriving employee. Jeremy, just a moment ago, you mentioned to me off the air a really good point, and that is that there's another related expression that actually I didn't even think of that is almost exactly the same in meaning、hmm. to. Asleep at the wheel, asleep at the switch. That's drop the ball. Drop the ball. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, what does it mean if you drop the ball? Well, if you say he really dropped the ball on that one, it's pretty much the same meaning as he was asleep at the wheel. If I throw a ball to you, your job is to catch it.、Mm-hmm. But if you don't catch it, And you drop the ball, then you are not doing your job or accomplishing the task that you're supposed to do. You are not doing what you're supposed to do. So, dropping the ball has, I think, the very same meaning. Yeah, exactly. And this is another very commonly used idiom in everyday conversation drop the ball. I think in almost all of our examples, if we replaced Asleep at the wheel or asleep at the switch with dropped the ball, it would be almost the same meaning. I agree. I think that they're interchangeable in many, many situations. Yeah. Many, many contexts. Good to know for our listeners, I think. Yeah. So, everyone, there is a special bonus expression <laughs> right at the end of today's episode <laughs> drop the ball. <laughs> And with that, we drop the mic. Just kidding. Yes, drop the mic. (laughs) 
Well, thank you for listening, everyone. And if you have any comments or questions, suggestions for future episodes, even, please drop us a line. Send us a message. You can do that via our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Culips Podcast, or you can email us directly. Our address is contact at culips.com. C O N T A C T at sign culips.com. You can find more episodes of the show at culips.com or wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll be back soon with another episode. So stay tuned and we'll talk to you then. Goodbye. Take care. <laughs>